All right. So we got a bunch of stuff, guys. If I start sneezing, if I start coughing, if I start doing all this stuff, I have really, really, really bad allergies right now, so bear with it. Um, it'll probably happen, and it'll be, uh, be pretty annoying for both of us. <laughs> so let's see if we are actually streaming. We are. Cool. Everything's good. Now, we have a huge table of stuff back here, as you can tell. I'm going to actually step out of frame. It's filled, guys. It doesn't come across this filled. I can actually take my laptop and show you. There is a lot of stuff here. So we are going to go through this. I picked everything up <clears throat> today. Besides <clears throat> maybe like one or two things. Uh, but I pretty much grabbed everything today. I'm going to use my phone to scan things in. And I'm just going to put them all down beside me in a pile. And show you guys exactly, you know, what I picked up, what it's going for, and why I grabbed it. Alright, so the first item here is a Tom Brady jersey, brand new with tags. I actually paid $15 for this guy, but it has the tags, and it's brand new, so I figured, you know what, why not, let's grab it. I actually forgot to look it up in the store, so I'm lucky it's on Amazon, right? Uh, I could have sold it on eBay, I don't know how much, but it's on Amazon with a rank of 285000 in sports, selling for $35.00 with no FBA offers. So after fees, that gives me $11, and that's no FBA sellers. So I can actually raise the price a little bit, size XL, which is a good size. So I think I'll double my money there. Next, we have these guys. These things are really good to be picking up. These are um, like ice cream maker type things. I, I really, yeah, they're ice cream makers that you can bring with you while you're camping. Very interesting. I've actually sold a bunch of these in the past. I hadn't found one in a while, and I came across one today. So that's nice. I paid $5 for this. This has a rank of 70000 in sports. It's going for the lowest price used. FBA is $69.99, so $54. After the 5 I paid for it, that's $49. Not too shabby. Next, we have this board game. It's called Machi Koro. Now, I grabbed it. Really quick, it's sealed and all that, right? Um, has a rank of 5,000 in toys and games, which is amazing, right? Going for $21.10. I paid $5.50 for this. Now, I did notice the bottom is the plastic is split a little bit. Um, I could still send it in as new, um, or I could send it as like new. I mean, Technically, if the, the packaging is split, you have to send it in as used. So, I don't see any used sellers at BA. Um, so, I could probably just undercut by a dollar. So, that's okay. Next, we have this game, another board game. I found a lot of board games and toys and new toys and stuff. This one's called Johnny's Boneyard. Uh, this one I paid five fifty four as well. Uh, the, they put the price tag right over... I hate when they do that. They put the price tag right over the barcode. So I actually have to type it in really quick. So Johnny's Boneyard. There it is. There's actually only one offer coming in at 1979 uh, new, not FBA. The rank of 138000 in toys. I paid uh, 550 for this one as well. So FBA, I'm just going to do 30 bucks. Let's see what happens. Next, we have another board game. Brand new sealed. Bring out your dead. This one cost $4.50. And, of course, the sticker's over the barcode. So bring out your dead. Has a rank of 262000 with 18 offers and toys. That's not horrible. FBA is coming in at $21, but that's one FBA or undercutting everybody else. The next price is a merchant at $25.30, and then after that, it's at $31. So I'm not sure why the FBA -er is in at $21. I'm going to price higher on this, probably closer to $30, and just wait, wait it out. Wait for that first guy to sell. Next, we have another game, brand new. It's called Kerfuffle. Never heard of Kerfuffle. I have to type it in again because the price the price tag, they keep putting the price tags over the barcodes. It's such a pain. Uh, so let's see, Kerfuffle. 
This one has a rank of 146,000 employees, 14 offers, which isn't too bad. FBA is coming in at $19.99, and that's Amazon. I paid $5.50. I'm going to make about $7 to $8 after fees on that, so not too shabby, and that's after what I paid for it as well. All right. This, guys, this is awesome. Lego Star Wars uh, kit 75083. This one has a Amazon sticker over the barcode. So, you know, somebody bought it on Amazon, never opened it, and then donated it. So, it still has its seals. Awesome. So, we'll look it up. And it's easy to look up Legos because you just type in Lego and then the number. So, Lego 75083. We, what I pay for this? I should pay it up. I paid thirty dollars for this, guys. Thirty bucks they wanted, and I was willing to pay it because brand new has a rank of eighty-four thousand in toys. It's going for eighty-seven dollars and ninety cents, so seventy bucks. So I'm gonna make fifty dollars on this. Very awesome. That's a big score. Next, we have this. It's called Tiggly, and it's a little iPad learning game for kids. You put these little blocks on the screen or something like that. I don't know. I actually got two of these. Here they are. I got two of them. They're both brand new. I paid $3.50 each. So $3.50 each. So $7 total. And let me scan it. These guys are going... They have a rank of 196000 in toys. Brand new, they're going for $34.99 each, which after fees, that's $27 minus my $350. So, pretty awesome score right there. That's about $50. Bucks. We'll go through these books really quick. So, there was a whole huge lot of anime and basically anime and graphic novels and stuff. And I, I didn't even scan them all because a lot of them were not that good. Um, but this guy has a rank of 384,000. I paid a dollar a piece for these. Rank of 384,000 in books. Used going for $13 just about. So I'm going to make six bucks after fees. And what I paid for it. This one, just a regular book, has a rank of 89,000 in books. Used, it's going for $19.21. So after fees and what I paid for it, I'm going to make $9, 930 this guy right here, and as you can tell, they're all anime, manga, things like that. Definitely look out for this kind of stuff when you're at a thrift store. It does pretty well. This one has a rank of 969,000 books, so not the best, but not too bad. Going for $14.35, so after fees of what I paid for, I'm going to make $6.41. And the last book I picked up today is another one of them. And this guy is going, has a rank of 283,000 books, which is good. And it's going for... I see FBA used is at seventeen twenty four, but there's a new merchant at sixteen eighty five. So to be safe, I'd say probably selling it at around sixteen dollars is what I get. So after fees and what I pay for it, just over six bucks, probably six dollars and fifty cents. So not too shabby there. That those are the only books I picked up, and I normally don't scan a lot of books, guys, because I just don't like to. You know, it's boring. I just don't like to. So I'm lucky I was able to actually find some that were good. Here's a little game. It's called Card Dominoes. Card Dominoes. And this one was $5.50 as well. I have to type it in. Card Dominoes. I can't freaking spell. Card Dominoes. It's so weird. All right, there we go. This guy, actually, there are zero people on the listing, and it has a rank of 599000 in toys. So, the reason why it probably has such a high ranking in toys is because there's nobody on the listing. So, if you use Inventory Lab, you could swipe over and click Camel, 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 and it'll let you know what this recently sold for and what the average selling price is. So, that's what I'm going to check right now. Uh, mine's brand new. Amazon was selling it for $19.99 when they last had it. I paid $5.50. Uh, third party new. They were coming in at $19.99 as well. So 20 bucks. Since no one's on the listing, I'll probably do higher than that, probably 30 bucks. And just see what happens. 
and hopefully it sells for 30 bucks since I paid 550. All right. Got a couple fun board games here. This one's called Funglish. It's fun English. I'm guessing it's a play on words. This guy actually doesn't have a price on it. I believe the price tag fell off. I think I don't know. I probably paid 10 bucks for this because I went to a uh, children's consignment sale at this old, like this auditorium, gymnasium type place. I don't remember. This is going for $30.24. And this one still has the price tag, $10.50. That's why I'm assuming that's what I paid for that as well, because they were both right next to each other. This one has a rank of $82,000, and it's going for $29. So I'm not only going to make about 9 bucks on this guy, but it's all right. I was willing to spend 10 to make 9 because it has such a good rank, and it's sealed, it's easy, just throw it in the box, it's 9 bucks, you know? Um... Here is another one of that brand, Tiggly, guys. Definitely look out for this brand. Um, this one I paid $3.50 for as well. This is just a counting math type thing that you put on your iPad. It's bringing 259000 in toys. New, coming in at $79. $79. That is just insane, right? $79? Bucks? Very crazy. We have little Chewbacca over here. And... Chewbacca I paid 5 bucks for at Goodwill. Look at him. He's so cute. He's going for $17.49. I'm going to make about 6 bucks after fees. So that's not too bad. Uh, let's go over these little guys. It's a little pocket Simon game. Uh, the price isn't on here. I don't remember what I paid for. Only a couple bucks. This guy's going for... $24.95. This little Simon, $24.95 with a rank of 181000 in toys. Pretty good rank. And then, guys, awesome game. Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. Yeah, everything looks good. Um, what did I pay? Was it $2, I believe? I paid 2 bucks for this. Do you know what Spyro is going for? I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you exactly what Spyro is going for. Going for... It has a rank of 4,000 video games, not bad. Used $28, and that's without case and manual. This has case, manual, everything. It's mint condition. Probably looking at closer to $35 on this guy. All right. Let's grab these little things. So this thing I just grabbed. I didn't even look it up. It's by Melissa and Doug, which I believe is restricted anyways. But do you guys remember these? It's these little scratch arts. Um, you take a little wooden pencil and you push it up against the black chalk paper or whatever, and it makes rainbow colors. It's really cool. I used to do this in elementary school, and it was only $1.50, so I bought it. Let's see if it's worth anything. I'm going to scan it in. I kind of bought it just to have fun with. It's going for $4.60, so $1.19, so I would lose money, but I got it just to play with. Here's a game. Cover your assets. Um, this one, I paid three fifty four. dollars so let's take a look. Cover, Man, guys, I have a splitting headache right now. It is so hard to talk right now. I honestly have the worst headache. It's so bad. My allergies are freaking horrible. So this has rank up 2,000 in toys, and there's only two offers. Uh, $12.99, which gives you $8.05 after all fees. I paid $3.50. I'm going to make about 5 bucks on it. Not too bad for a very good rank also. Uh, here's something cute. Trolls, Trolls, um, Chia Pet. Now, Chia Pets actually do pretty good, guys. I've sold Chia Pets in the past. They're still very popular, and they still sell very, very fast. This has a rank of 35000 in Lawn and Patio, and it's going for $15.37. I paid four I'm going to make about 4 bucks on it, so I doubled my money. Let's grab a few things. Grab these three things right here. So this game, I actually didn't count any of the pieces. I didn't want to spend my time doing it. It was only three bucks, so I just took the risk. Now I will scan it in right now. Three bucks, rank of 291,000 in toys, 12 offers. New is coming in at $40, used is coming in at $30. So worst comes to worst, if I don't have the pieces, I could try and part it out on eBay or just keep it or donate it or whatever. It's only three dollars. But if it has all the pieces, I'm looking to make $17 on this. So that's cool. 
Next, a puzzle. Always look up sealed puzzles, even if they look really old. I mean, I could recommend always looking up Ravensburger. They're usually decently valuable. Now, I believe nobody was on this listing. I paid $3 for this. Nobody's on the listing right now, but we could check Camel 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 and see what it used to go for. Um, that's why I love having Inventory Lab, because it gives you the Scoutify uh, app scanner, and you're able to check these things. So Amazon was on the listing at $14. Third-party sellers, the last price was $29, uh, $27, but they went as high as $30. So I'll probably go a little bit higher than 30. I'll probably do 35 to 40 bucks on that puzzle. Next we have brand new Avery 100 count uh, CD labels. I paid $2 for this. And guys, I always recommend looking up Avery labels. They're worth big money. This one right here in office products has a rank of 19,000, which is very good. It's gonna sell very fast. It's going for $22.15, so I'm actually going to make $12.65 after fees, which is very nice. Now, I was so surprised to see this. This is Ink Flow. This is Ink Toner. Brother Ink Toner. $2, guys. Two bucks. Most times, when you see Ink Toner at a thrift store, it's always priced $10, 20 $30 a freaking toner. This one was only 2 bucks, so I knew I had a winner. Or at least I'd hope so. So let's scan it in real quick. This guy has a rank of 29,000 in PC accessory or 664,000 in office. Oh no, there it is right there. Has a rank of 1,593 in office products. Amazing rank, by the way, guys. If you don't know ranks, that's such a great rank. It's going to sell like that. Amazon's on the listing at $52. So after all fees and what I paid for, I'm going to make about $37. So that's really cool. All right. This thing right here, you might just walk right past it in the store. It's a little dispenser. Box is all beat up. It looks like it's from the 90s. Well, I scan everything usually, or at least I try to scan everything. And this one right here, I paid, uh, what did I pay for this? $5. Not a lot of money. This has a rank in home of 15,000. Very good rank. Look how old this thing is. Insane. Brand new, coming in at $32. This is brand new, but the box is so damaged, I'm not going to sell it as new. Sell it as used, probably undercut by a buck or two, right? Because it has such a great rank. So I'm looking to make about, well, $20.00. And then minus the five, so 15 bucks on this for just some old dispenser, right? Crazy. Um, right here, we have a video game, Dance Dance Revolution, Hottest Party 2 for the Wii. I actually sell DDR pretty often if they come in bundles like this with the uh, mat and the game, which are both in here. I paid eight bucks for this. I paid a little up on it. It's going for used $38. So I'm going to make about 17 to 18 bucks on this. Pretty happy about that. Another new game. This is, well, it's a puzzle maker, so it's not really a game. It's a DIY puzzle maker. And this guy, what did I pay? I paid $5.50. You guys can see the theme. I paid $5.50 for a lot of things. It's like a 442000 in toys, which isn't horrible. And it's going for $28. So what did I pay? $5.50, I said. So I'm going to make about 13 bucks on that. Now, here is a big bolo, guys. This game got discontinued, and shoot. Shoot. I crushed it. Crushed it on the way here. The box got a little hole in the back. You can't sell this game as used. Uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. That's why you got to be careful when you're uh, putting stuff in the car. I just kind of threw it in a box. This guy, brand new, is going for $58. $58. I paid $2.50. Now, it sucks that I crushed the box. It really, really, really does. And you can't sell this used on Amazon. So I have to figure out what to do with that. Whoops. Whoops. All right. Here's a little doll, monster doll, or whatever the heck it is. I paid 
and 50 cents for this little Novi star thing. And this little girl has a rank of 208,000 in toys, which is nice. I like that. $27.71. I'm going to make about 14 to 15 bucks. Very awesome there. Another board game, Loaded Questions. I paid $5 at Goodwill. This guy is going for... Has a rank of 290,000. Decent rank, going for 19 bucks. I'm going to make about 650 on it. Now this I bought for myself to have fun with. It's called Wineopoly. It's just Monopoly with wine, right? Kind of funny. Now, I paid $5 for it. I don't think it was going for that much. Brand new... Uh, it has a rank of 55,000 toys. Brand new, you're looking at 1581. So I would make $3.87, which technically, I mean, I'm almost 100 getting all my money back, plus, you know, double if I wanted to sell it. I think I'm going to keep it, but if I do decide to sell it, I can. This right here, little dinosaur kit. Um, paid $5.50 for it. That's kind of cool, right? $5.50. Rank up 385,000 in toys, no FBA offers, a merchant's coming in at 21, so I'd probably come in at 30, and destroy that. Little Minnie Mouse, little cute Minnie Mouse. Uh, I paid, I, don't, I think I paid about two, two to three bucks for this Minnie Mouse. No FBA offers, and merchants are coming in at 22, so I'd probably come in at 30 again. Usually if the merchants are, I always try to you know, price like $10 higher than the merchant. So that's just what I do. Um, now these things, guys, I actually got two of them. I think they're brand new. They're Radio Shack wireless intercoms. Everything's in here. Everything's still wrapped. Maybe they were used once or twice. Um, I don't know how I'm going to test them. I guess I'll try and figure it out. Paid 7 bucks each on these boxes here. Now there's nobody selling them online right now, which is nice. Let me scan it in so I can tell you guys what it used to go for and what the rank is. So the rank is 163,000 in home improvement, which is actually a very good rank. I, I was very surprised when I saw that. Um, yeah, so we'll check Camel 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 right now since I have two of them, right? Seven bucks a pop. We're looking at uh, third party new was the most recent price was $150. The highest price was $230. Now, we got to check used because the boxes are open and all that. Um, but the last used price was $125. And the highest used price looks like it was about $170. I had two of them, guys. Very cool. Hopefully they work. Uh, for $14, bucks, I mean, awesome. Now, these were very interesting. These are Goosebumps. Um books right just a little lot of books right here this one is complete pay 10 bucks per box set which seems like a lot for a thrift store but whatever so 10 bucks this one has all 13 books this one is going for has a rank of 725,000 books not too bad going for $50 in acceptable condition or $85 in very good condition and then $134 new so probably about 50 bucks this is kind of acceptable condition I guess I'd put it as good but so I'm looking to get about $25 after fees and what I paid for it. And then this one, guys, I bought, but it's missing two books. Now, I figured I could figure out what books it's missing from this from this set, because this set's different. I'm going to find the books on eBay or on Amazon, spend the four to five bucks per book, maybe a little bit higher, maybe they're like six or seven bucks per book, because, check this out, guys, I'm scanning this in right now. This has a rank of 484,000 in books, pretty good. The lowest FBA price is $95, and the lowest merchant price is $87. So that's why I bought it. I figured after fees, you're looking at, and what I paid for, I'm looking at 64 bucks. So if both books cost me 10 bucks a piece, which I doubt it, but even if they do, I'm still gonna make about $40 on it. So I figured why not, right? Um, now, I got a huge lot of phones. There's one of the bases. Here's all the phones. And these are all their bases. Right? Very nice. Now, 
you definitely want to make sure that when you buy these phones, make sure that they have the base with them. You don't want to just be buying the phone without the base because it's kind of, you should probably sell them on eBay, but I don't know. So Panasonic, and the model number is KXTGA652. All right, so this bundle, not the bundle, I'm going to sell each one individually. So they have a rank of 360, which is very, very good. The lowest price is $70.70 per phone. Per phone, guys. Looking at 60 bucks after fees. I paid $20 total for one, two, three, four phones, plus the big one with the base. So do the math. I'm not doing the math right now. Pretty awesome. Now that is all the stuff for Amazon. I do have some clothing I picked up for eBay. Some very interesting clothing. Um, some stuff that is going to wow you. It wowed me. And if it wows me, then it's good. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look through the comments, see what people are talking about, and then we're going to go over to the clothing. Um, so let's see. we got a bunch of people in the comments. we got 60 people in the house right now, 61 people in the house right now. What is up, everybody? Um, we got Melanie Marinez. We have Luis Rodriguez, uh, Joshua Davidson, Scott Biggs. Thrift and Flip RA, uh, Nightwing, Drummer, Heath Albritton, uh, <laughs> Lone Hopper, Elon 5207, Angelic Cook, um, Midnight Rider, Swamp Picker, Messenger's Business, uh, we got lots of people guys, Lola Chicky, Lola Chicky, alright, so Mark Casarella, um, and Christopher McCoy and everybody's asking to hit the like button so I, I would agree I would agree and say to do that so I'm going to go through the clothing now you guys are about to see something awesome let me just switch to this so I can see myself in real time there we go so it's not a lot of clothing I mean the bag looks kind of big but it's really not there's a lot of sweaters in here and I know uh, springtime right now summer's coming but I bought them because you'll see why now I don't know why I bought this or why I even have this Paid five bucks for it. I don't, maybe I bought it for my. I bought this for myself. The LL Bean size medium has some mesh. It's just, it's just a really nice shirt. Bought it for myself. All right, now dogs barking at someone. This right here, I paid eight bucks. I paid up. It's Harley Davidson, just a regular Harley Davidson button front shirt, basic shirt. You know, eight bucks. I saw this exact one sell for thirty. That's why I picked it up has these metal snap buttons on it. Eight bucks is kind of high, but if I could get 30 for it, then that's cool. Then I'm happy. We have a great brand here, guys. Brand I always pick up. Highly recommend to pick this brand up. And I'll tell you exactly what I sell it for. This is Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Let's see if we could get a little bit closer. There you go. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Size XL. Um, now, it does have a little random logo on the side. That's not Peter Millar's logo. I only paid four bucks for this, guys. I usually sell them for $26.95, so that's good money. Check this out, guys. This is vintage from 1996, made by the brand Galt Sand. Never heard of the brand, but who cares about that? Look at that. Old school Oakland Raiders. Very old school, and I paid half price on this. So I think I paid three bucks, three dollars for that, guys. Not sure what it's gonna go for, man. Oh my headache! It is splitting. <sighs> trying to focus, trying to bang this out. Next, guys, this is the most amazing find. Polo by Ralph Lauren, size large. Look at this vintage skiing sweater right here. How nice is that? Paid five dollars. Five bucks for this. Five bucks. Awesome find. Awesome, awesome, awesome find. One of the best clothing finds I ever found. And just to let you know what makes it so awesome, well, the price. This guy is worth in good condition. This is kind of acceptable condition, but in the condition that it's in, I'm thinking about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. If it was in better condition, two hundred to three hundred dollars. Three hundred at the very high end. 
It's got to be like mint condition at that point. Uh, I don't actually think one sold at 300, so I don't know why I said 300. More like 200. Um, but pretty crazy, pretty crazy there. Look at this sweater, and I think this is actually the last item, which I'm kind of saying thank you because my head is hurting. I've never seen. Okay, look at that. I learned that this is a shotgun patch or something like that. Very cool, 100% wool with these wooden buttons. The brand is Orvis. But look how old that logo is. I've never seen an Orvis logo like that. So, super old. I actually paid up. I paid 10 bucks on this, but because it's so cool, so vintage, so unique, you know, 50, 60 bucks, maybe even more. We'll see. So, that's everything, guys. I do not feel good. I just want to go lay down, which is what I'm going to do. But then I'm going to package all of this stuff up and that'd be that. Also, to let you guys know, before I check the comments at the end here, we are throwing a Connecticut reseller meetup tomorrow, not tomorrow, Tuesday, Tuesday, May 2nd, up in, um, starting in Manchester, Manchester Goodwill. And we're hitting up a bunch of Goodwills. It's going to be me, uh, Steve Rakin with the Rakin Profit YouTube channel, uh, Greg with the Valet Picker channel, and Tim Fisk, who I don't think has a YouTube channel. Um, but we're all throwing it. It's going to be really fun. Starts at 9 a.m. sharp. Manchester, Connecticut, Goodwill, if you want to meet us there. That's when it opens. So we're all going to meet in the parking lot, have fun, find a bunch of good stuff. And, um, yeah, I had to go out thrifting today also, though. So let's take a look at these comments. Uh, Drummer says the holy grail of sweaters. Uh, a lot of people are saying that shooting nuts shopping we got a lot of people here um can you tell me what's the name of the app where i can see costs when i'm looking at goodwill you could just use the amazon seller app it's free just type in amazon seller and just create an account and it's free um how long does it take to sell patagonia shirts on ebay i picked here from goodwill list them a few days ago depends on what you're pricing the map uh and what kind of patagonia shirt it is it's a t-shirt i don't know i've never found a patagonia t-shirt uh, Patagonia button-ups I find all the time. I usually price them around 25 bucks. I've had a few that have been sitting for a couple weeks now, so they take a little bit of time. Um, if you have the really nice snap button, like half snap button Aztec pattern, that'll, that'll sell in a day or two for probably 75 and up. Um, the jackets sell pretty well. I just sold the Patagonia uh, raincoat the other day for $39. Um, the reason why I sold it for so cheap was because it was an extra small men's. So I picked it up just because the brand Patagonia, not realizing how small the size was. And somebody sent me an offer, and I just took it. I'm like, okay, how many extra small men are looking for this? Not many. Um, so I was happy with that. Um, uh, we got lots of people. Time invested to source this inventory. I went out... Uh, what time did I go out? I went out at 10 a.m. No, like 10.30 a.m. And I finished around 4.30. Around 4.30. So it took about six hours to find all of this. So that's really not that bad. Especially because I drove kind of far to get to the place. It took me about 35 to 40 minutes to get to the thrift stores. And in an area. And then it took me about that much time back. So you could almost cut an hour and a half off of the total time that it actually took me to work. So like four and a half to five hours is what it took me to find all this. So pretty sweet guys. And I didn't even scan CDs. I hardly went through the books. Um, I didn't go through glassware or anything like that. So there was still a lot of stuff I could have gone through. I don't, I don't go through any women's clothes. So there's so many things in a thrift store to look at. I didn't go through the records. I didn't go through, uh, most stuff in the glass case I didn't actually look up, which I probably should have and could have, but I just didn't. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm actually going to head out right now because I'm not feeling so well. I'm going to go lay down, just chill, throw on the TV and some Netflix. I'm like sweating. I, just, I don't feel good right now. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you actually got some good information and content out of this. Learned a few brands, a few toys, a few everything. So till next time, guys, see ya.